Welcome back to the experience, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Falgu. And today my guest is, well, should I say my co-host, Rayshawn Adams. Welcome. Ray's like, I'm going to stay silent the whole time. <laughs> Not on purpose. Uh, today today uh, we're going to do something a little different here. Um, each episode we try to bring you all uh, s- something different, you know, hence the ADHD experience. And uh, tonight we just, me and Ray just kicking it and uh, we just talking about whatever we want to talk about. Yep. Ray just got back from a really awesome trip to Vegas. So uh, how was that, Ray? It was amazing. <laughs> I saw y'all on the uh, kayaks and whatnot. Bam, bottles up. Yeah, yeah Bel- man. Air, it, Bel- was, Air. it was amazing. <clears throat> Shout out sponsor, Bel Air. But, um, yeah, man, it was a last minute trip. Shout out Nola Societies for the. Uh, we were supposed to go. Uh, we were supposed to go before Ida, but Ida kind of like derailed that, you know. Yeah, so that, we finally made it, you that, know. That bitch messed up a lot of shit. Yeah, much needed. <laughs> yeah, dude, it looked uh, it looked really awesome. Yeah. I mean, um, that was the Hoover Dam y'all went to. Yeah, we we also uh, went visited the Hoover Dam, so. What was uh the best part about the trip? Uh, for me, the kayak. Yeah, dude, it looked <laughs> it looked it looked beautiful. Yeah, it was the best part for me. Uh, it was kind of scary, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause you, I'm still in that stage. I can't swim. <laughs> well, dude, I totally I can swim underwater. But. I totally. I was like, Ray Sean on a fucking kayak. I was like, I don't even think he can swim. Hey. She's like, Yeah, right. I and was then like, I I'm the, serious. Like I see the white people out there. I'm telling me and my wife. I'm like, They probably like this nigga on a kayak. <laughs> this motherfucker better be David Goggins. What the fuck this nigga uh-huh. think he is? Like hey, I was dude. out there in the Clever Bree shirt uh-huh. and everything. Uh huh. I was like, man, if that bitch tips over, Ray's fucking, he sank. Uh huh. Look, dude. it was gonna be some Titanic shit. Hey, hey, dude, it's scary, bro. Yeah, it's scary. And, it, and the water was cold as fuck. Oh yeah, that's how it was in uh, Austin. And one of the chicks that was with us when we uh, went paddleboarding, bro. Talk about paddleboarding's hard as fuck. Like, if you don't have balance, you What's the difference between that and uh, fucking kayaking? Well, I mean, the kayak, you're sitting in a kayak. Paddleboarding, you're literally, you could sit, but you're standing on it. Like a surfboard. Mm. Oh, and, yeah, yeah dude, they had some like, people out there doing that shit. Hey, dude. You're uh, balancing so hard. I mean, you know, people that are, like, seasoned veterans that, like, live out there, they were making it look cool and shit. They had, like, ice chests on there. They're, like, sitting Indian style with their dog and shit. Uh-huh. Bro, I was standing up. I could fucking barely stand. I was, like, shaking. I was, you know, and your, your feet are, like, wow. Yeah, dude. and they're used it's, to that shit. It's, it's bro. Up there like, hey, bro, dude, they had, <laughs> hey, dude, I got pictures in my phone. I wish I could post it on a uh, TV. They were literally doing yoga on, on the fucking. On the uh, board? On the paddle board, dude. Making yeah, that shit man. look simple. I, I could barely sit on it. I was like sitting half ass in this uh-huh. style, bro. I was like so like I wasn't uh stretchable at uh, not flexible at all. <laughs> yeah, dude. And getting back on that bitch, I, I stayed on my knees the whole time, and I and I caught me like a little good uh little rhythm, little rhythm. And then yeah. the next thing you know, I was like cha cha, and then the sun started going down and shit because like we were like out there so late. <laughs> bro. Yeah, man, it was dude. Good. It was an amazing experience, but I tell you what, it was like. Probably like paddle boarding through uh through Lafitte, but the water's clear. Yeah. So you can see like turtles and shit. Yeah. I mean, they don't have alligators out there, but it's definitely you don't want to fall in that fucking right. water. Yeah, like I said, that shit was cold and like I, I liked it because it was I could feel that shit in my back, you know mm-hmm. what I'm just saying? I'm doing this shit on purpose. Like, yeah. uh, like I'm <laughs> getting get sunburn out, out getting yeah. sunburn out there. <laughs> oh fuck, bro, that Vegas heat, bro. Oh yeah. That son's a bitch. Bro. My wife got burnt, man. Oh, dude, yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. She's like white as me, bro. Uh, Fuck, dude. Yeah, you just got more tan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, my darker. wife's like that. Hey, bro, my wife's like that, too, dude. She comes out, like, a little bit. She's dark. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, I mean, I look like a crawfish. Right. I got sunburn at the Strawberry Festival Sunday on half my league. So you mm-hmm. don't even get tan. Mm-mm. I mean, I'll have to go sit in a tan in bed, probably, like, bake myself for, like, a week, like, from, like, one minute to... 10 mm-hmm. you know if i put that bitch on 10 i'm burning looking like that shirt bro i'm gonna just be fire engine red mm-hmm. but and then i'll start using them lotions but it literally fades in like a week right so i'm like this was fucking pointless uh-huh. <laughs> so, so now i just stopped yeah. it completely yeah i mean i like i mean shit dude when i'm tan i look fresh but i don't right. even care no more 
I told him, I mean, I don't want to mess with the tattoo. So I told my old lady, I'm going to look like, uh, what's his name from Twilight? <laughs> Which fucking, one? Uh, the main dude. Uh, fuck it. Edward. I would just be fucking bright white, bro. Just because, I mean, you know. Like when we go to the beach now, I I wear uh like them long sleeves, like the mesh. Yeah, and dude, I wear like my short shorts. Like I always wear them, but my legs don't really burn. It's like my upper body, mm -hmm. so my legs actually get kind of tan, which is weird yeah, shit. Yeah, but like my fucking arms and shit. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, my wife just get burnt. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and that shit. Be, that shit ain't fun. Miserable. Bro. Sunburn. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She be miserable. So and some I mean, some more shit I got to deal with. <laughs> yeah, on top of the shit you deal with yeah. and it's like i've cut a lot of people's hair and bro there's a lot of like skin cancer you know like a lot of like people get like i guess melanoma mm. and um that shit's real bro they gotta cut that shit out of you <sighs> i've seen dudes with like pieces of their ear cut off and like parts of their like cheeks motherfuckers getting it on their uh legs yeah i'm like bro. wearing shorts all the time working on boats yeah that shit's sad bro yeah bro i hate to see anything like that shit like even with psoriasis, I hate to see Ooh, yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even when people, you know, the uh, when their skin pigment is like pink or it's like white almost, and it's you know, right. And they got some, you know, and people still look beautiful, but it's oh, just yeah. like you know, but you know, like their skin's vulnerable. Yeah, and it's also it's like, damn, what are you know, what are they dealing with that right. you know, a regular, not regular, but someone right. who doesn't have that. Damn, don't man. deal with you know what i'm saying oh yeah man it causes uh i'm sure a lot of uh a lot of um insecurity yeah insecure i was about to say discipline but like you're probably depression yeah a lot of depression so it's like for you to come up out of that like you know what i'm saying it's i still guess it takes be, discipline for, <laughs> and for you yeah. to still be like to come out and in and just be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Just like, yeah, fuck dude. it. Like, that's what it is what it is. Yeah, well, like, I mean, you got to think about it, dude. Like, shit happens to good shit. I mean, bad shit happens to good people all the time. You know, life ain't fucking fair, but, like, what are you going to do? Just be mad and just say, fuck it? Right. I mean, there's people, like, that one of my friends, one of my best friends has can has had cancer twice and beat it twice, or maybe even three times at this point. Each fucking time, dude, he's like, just blowing it off. He's like cracking jokes about it. Just like looking on the bright side. Right. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, I'm sitting here crying about dumb shit. And this dude's like sitting here dying, but he's still like living and loving life. Right. So it's like, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just keep going. Right. You know, shit's, you know, but you're going to sit there and pout or you're going to fucking live your life. Right. Yeah, man. I just, you lose man. a leg, you lose a limb. Shit happens, bro. Like, you're going to sit there forever. You're going to try to fucking put a prosthetic and go back to running. My, right. One of my boys did that. And I was just like, that's a lot of heart. Yeah. You know? That is, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that shit's amazing. Yeah. Like, for you to just, yeah, to just be comfortable. Like, fuck it. Once you get comfortable, bro, you just get, you settle. Mm -hmm. And then when you settle, you just, you settle for anything. I mean, I'm I'm never comfortable. Right. My wife says I'm aggravating. She's <laughs> like, yo, ass always got to be doing something. I was like, I'm just not happy. I'm not, oh, I mean, I'm happy, but I'm just not satisfied. Right. Never satisfied. Because when I do get comfortable, I get fat. Mm -hmm. I fucking stop doing what I'm supposed to do. I get lazy. No motivation. Oh, don't yeah. want to go to the gym. Definitely. I don't think well. I don't, I don't come up with any. I'm not creative. No. Not when I'm like that. It's like it slows all your energy down. So it's like all the... I don't know. It's like your machine just doesn't work right. Right. Yeah, man. It, that's depression. Yeah, depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Depression. <laughs> Comfort becomes it, depression. Yeah, Fuck, I guess. God, damn. That's, I mean, I don't know if I went that hard with it, but I mean. I, like I said, I felt that shit doing Ida. Yeah, dude. It was just like. You wanted to move so bad, bro. Yeah, you couldn't do shit. I still want to move. I, I want to go to Austin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go follow Joe Rogan. Try to get up in them comedy mics, uh, them comedy uh, shoes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna start on a small shit and just work my way up. I know I'm funny. I mean, just, you know, <laughs> tell me uh, something. Oh, uh, dude. <clears throat> <laughs> well, bro, like, I mean, real talk, like, you know, my family's like, my family's like a gumbo. Yeah. You know, we got two. My first two nephews are white. My second uh, niece. Well, my first niece is Mexican American. Um, my second niece is Undern. My second nephew is fourth nephew. Shit, dude, I'm losing count of them. <laughs> is uh, Mexican American. 
Then his sister, the fifth one, is Mexican American. Then my nephew Cash is half black. So, dude, that's a gumbo. Then my other sister Cassie, her son is half Vietnamese. So that's a real gumbo. It's uh, like a, a, fuck. We don't added some. All, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's like so every like family's different flavors. But I guess it's not funny. But I was I'm trying to figure out a joke with it <laughs> <laughs> eventually. Uh, uh, that shit sounded funnier when I thought about it without really saying it. If that you know that shit is funny, man. That's what they, they call it writing bits, bro. That shit's hard, dude. Yeah, uh, it's I, like I, you really have to think of like how to make people laugh, mm-hmm. and then like but be able to like. Have like an hour of that shit, and not only that, you gotta you gotta face the crowd and hope they don't fucking yeah, bro. boo you. Yeah, I just seen Ti ex- got fucking booed. Ti, st- yeah, for what? Because you know, no, he, you know, he started doing like a stand up. Shut up. Yeah, and they said he was Tip. Doing, yeah, Tip. Coming live <laughs> with the with the not funny. Yeah, bro, so what? A couple of them, I, they said it was kind of funny, but I guess this one they just booed him. I just seen that shit. Oh, dude. Mm-hmm. Man, I would have so, started rapping my ass off. So you got to take put that a too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, bro. He would have bust up. <laughs> Come and laugh from the man, nigga, this thing going to turn that bitch into a fucking uh, concert. A, whole, a free concert just to make up for uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. It's like, T.I. came out there playing like he was a comedian. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting no free concert. Shit. Uh, and he in the bag like, yeah, shit, Yeah, he could have did that. Damn, dude. Oh my God! But, he's still one of the best rappers. So. Yeah, but, but I think he but just, I, he he the, he probably felt played. You know what I'm saying? I, well, like, dude, I you mean, know his attitude. So well, I guess when you're used to like the stage and the crowd fucking like just raving your name and like, oh my God, Ti. But then, it's like, hard, that's a hard crossover though. Like for oh, bro, for anybody, I didn't like, even think that was possible. Yeah, like so, and then they Fuck. see you. You know, they view you another way. They view you as a rapper. So yeah, for bro. you to come to a comedian and you say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, bro, T.I. is so be like, serious. That ain't your sport. You got to go ahead. Like, you T. know what I'm saying? But T.I. is so serious, bro. Like, yeah. I can't take him. I can't, like, it, take him serious. I have to take him serious. Like, why would I laugh at him? You can't I'm view like, him he, no other way. I ain't never way. heard him say nothing yeah. funny, bro. He's always fucking mad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying so, right. And then if somebody started booing him, he'd probably be like, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all. But, yeah. He's like, but you know that was funny. Yeah, bro. But it's just like, you can't, when people go to other sports, it's like, oh, you geez. can't just assume you're going to be good at that sport. Like Michael Jordan. You didn't he, didn't he go to baseball? Yeah. Yeah, bro. And he went straight back to basketball. I think he played, what, one year? Yeah, maybe one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. I don't think it was two, bro. It might have been nine months. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if memory serves that me, they right? had a pregnancy uh, career in fucking Home baseball, bro. huh? Hey, dude, it was. No, nah, you know but what? another motherfucker who was good was Bo Jackson. What? Who else? Yep, Deion, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders. Well, remember, I drew a picture of him in like sixth grade. Mm-hmm. I was trying to draw like Therese. Yeah, and like I seen the picture, like Therese shaded it, and I was like, you know what? I could draw as shit. well as Threads, but I can't shade. So his sh- his shading looked like the picture would become 3D. Yeah. I could draw like the same almost outline, but I just couldn't shade it. And bro, I tried shading it. It looked okay, but not like, I mean, mm-hmm. not even. I mean, it looked like shit compared to this. Right. Ones, but, just like, oh, fuck but it was Bojack. I could do that. Oh my but, yeah. God, dude. Yeah. But I learned a lot from him, bro. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he's doing nowadays. Somebody told me he became an artist. Probably so. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, you hopefully. Because his dad was an artist too, I think. I think his dad was. Yeah, that'd be dope. He'd always man. be acting like, he's like, man, it ain't really nothing. Uh-huh. Like, bro, that shit looks like amazing. Right, right. <laughs> but, but you, you know. know, they you know, they critique them and shit as well. Oh, yeah, like yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. you do. So Yeah, because he was always in my art class, like my real one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Oh yeah, you acting like uh you don't care about this shit, but I yes. see you in this class. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, too cool for school. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the truth, bro? Right. It really wasn't cool to be smart at school, but now I wish I would have been smart. Fuck. Right, it did. What Therese was big, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. to be viewed drawing, you know, like the, the stigmatism like with your it. Your ass should know? be playing ba- uh, football, bro. Yeah, nigga, be like you draw. I think he played football, but I don't think he was that good. He just was big. I remember yeah, be running yeah, yeah, the ball. Yeah. He yeah. drew the dreads out, and he looked uh-huh. even bigger and shit. Yeah. I was like, God damn, yeah, bro, that motherfucker was big. Yeah, dude. We we yeah. can't say the same. No, him, <laughs> um, uh, Marvin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh, Mar- yeah, he, Marlon favorite right Yeah, Marlon. he's rapping now. Dude, what? Yeah. Dude, he went to, I seen him at the gym one time after he was- Marlon favorite right? Shout out. Shout out, baby. Shout out. <laughs> Played for LSU, too. And yeah. uh, I remember I seen him come back from the gym one time. This was like, I guess, after being at LSU for a year mm-hmm. or a summer or something like that. 
And dude, he looked like a fucking bodybuilder. He mm-hmm. was still big, but I was like, bro, what they feeding you? Yeah. He's like, bro, it's that college like workout, that lifestyle. And I'm like, but I was like, man, you must be like killing it out there. And he's like, dude, I'm still like, he's like, I'm playing like third, like third string. I was yeah. like, bro, what? Yeah. I'm like, you? Yeah. But you know, like, I, they got I, some I, didn't, bad I didn't realize they had levels to that. Yeah, like, son. So if he looked like that, yeah. like a bodybuilder, I can't imagine the what mo- the first motherfucker looked like. Yeah, or the like. second motherfucker. Oh, yeah, the second yeah. motherfucker. Nigga, he in line. The fourth motherfucker mm-hmm. looked good, you know? I was like, damn. So, like, that level, and dude, he was great, and you know, in our schools, and I mean, our district. And I yeah. was like, I thought he was, like, going to the pros, bro, but it's like my dad said. You see that lineman for that football team? His ass can run a four four also. Mm-hmm. So imagine getting hit by that. Like but, you know, they all fast. But you you know, it's also like I guess it's the way they describe this shit is like it's like man, it's twenty four seven. You got to be on. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, hundred percent. Like it ain't like to be that big. You yeah, got to eat. You got like, to do that's a everything. Job. So yeah. it's real. Yeah. Yeah. You can't fuck off for no. like. Mm-mm. No, not I mean like the the real dedicated ones, the real pros. Like I mean, I'm sure they go out and have fun when when it's time to. Mm-hmm. But like you know, I'm pretty sure the whole time you know somebody you know Tom Brady and the rest of them there you know Russell uh, Wilson. I'm pretty sure they're uh, studying, right? You know, watching video, yeah. working out. Yeah, that's why they are like who they are. Like man, uh. I don't. I know you're not really a football. Yeah, I know. I should have said Drew Brees. My bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. But I know you're not a football I mean, fanatic. But uh, if you ever heard of a uh, Vince Lombardi? Yeah, of course. Like man, like I, I was watching a documentary, and this man just he eat shit, bleed motherfucking football. Like he didn't. That's do, why the trophy's named after. And, him. But they were just talking about his marriage. Like oh, wow. they said when they had parties, there'd be parties for him, even after they won the Super Bowl. And the motherfucker would come to the party for an hour, say hey to everybody, and be back in the basement. Damn, studying bro. fucking football. Damn, bro. Yeah, bro. I was like, that's fucking crazy. And that's and that reminds you of like Bill Belichick, the uh, the coach for the Patriots. Yeah, who, who uh, Tom Brady played for. Yes, but you know when they won the Super Bowl, they asked him a question. He was like, man, we already six weeks behind because all the other teams were. You know, at home because they didn't make it to the playoffs and shit. And he Damn. talking about we we six weeks behind. Damn, so bro. that's just some that's some dedication for your, like ass, your ass. You know what I'm saying? Your ass just won a Super Bowl and you, you behind. Yeah, that's how he thinking. Like, <laughs> oh, bro, that's next level. Though. Yeah, bro. That well, that's like crazy. what that's like when um when the first episode launched, my boy was like, "Hey, man, you know it looks good, but you know the lighting could be a little better. You know this and that." I was like, "Hey, bro, like I appreciate the critique, but bro, I'm already on episode ten. That's like right. I'm I'm ten episodes ahead of you, bro. Like because right. you know we had to put the shit out and record and right. and get like a bunch of videos and then get them edited. So it's right. like you can't just. I mean, this shit's a lot harder than it looks, man. It's right. like you know, you got to like editing and recording and linking up with people. Time, yeah." I mean, it's it's been it's been a crazy ride. It's a challenge. Yeah, bro, it's a challenge. But I love it. But I, you know, that's what uh, the wife said leaving us. She was like, you know, I feel like you're kind of getting crazy with this shit. And I'm like, well, I feel like I have to be. Yeah. Like you see me at the parties. Like yeah. I'll I'll be with people, but I'm still in this bitch 80 yeah. percent of the time. Yeah. And I live in this bitch. I slept in this. I sleep in here sometimes. <laughs> Yep, I'll be in this bit lights and, on. Yeah, uh, dude. I mean, and uh, I can't wait to make it, it. Yeah, bro. I can't <laughs> wait to make it bigger because like. It's going to be like the whole experience. Like, you know, like we come in here, we drink, we just relax, talk shit, you right. know, do our thing, get high, and then. Yeah, this, is our, this this is our new video game. Yeah, bro. This is like <laughs> our going out on Saturday uh-huh. night or Friday night. Or yeah. Usually I try to keep it on Saturday. Yeah, you you want to go play the game? And uh, we're yeah, we're gonna you, talk and we actually in that bitch. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just a good time, dude. I love it. I'm, so, I mean, I could see where Bill Belichick and Vince Lombardi come from, I guess. Right. It's just that mentality, man. Like that, that Mamba mentality. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That shout Mamba out, shout mentality. out, shout out. But, yeah. Shout out, uh, Clever Breed. You dig? That clever, that clever mentality. You dig? But. Yeah. First time wearing this bitch tonight, bro. Been having it in my closet ready. So, man, I, I, w- the- I wanted to ask you a question, like, uh. What what like when y'all moved exactly? Cause I was I was just sitting in. The, I'm like, man, when did Eric like move leave? from the back games? Yeah. Um, when I was 11th grade, and I couldn't pass the leap or 10th grade, I couldn't pass the leap test or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't pass the leap no, test. No, but but from the street, like me and you stayed on. 
Yeah. I think I was 17. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because I was dating that Asian chick, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I think yeah. that changed a lot for all of us. Yeah, Like bro. when we got into bitches. Oh, dude, 100%. <laughs> bro. It was just like, uh, once you find that, that's a yeah, wrap, bro. Was, you're gone. You're fucking gone. Everybody's up. We were so worried about that shit yeah, for so long, bro. Yeah, Remember, we used bro. to talk about getting laid, that and shit. then when it happened, everybody yeah, turned. Yes. <laughs> it just was like a fucking button. Yep. That shit. That shit. It's just, that's it, bro. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, and then you still try to hang with your boys and shit, but like, you know, the girls, yeah, you should take them. Yeah. Take us. Yeah. And uh, that's what, like, leaving it, like, I'm so thankful that she's, like, just cool with everybody because, like, some girls aren't like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, not everybody feels comfortable being around other people, but it's like, I got to be around my friends. You right. Because I want to be around your friends, too, you know? Right. I mean, was it going to be just us all day? Right. I mean, at the end of the day, it is going to be us all day, but, you know, it's a you gotta like live your life too, right? Right, you gotta be around people that's comfortable. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, dude. Because I talk to couples that don't do shit, and it's just like they look miserable, bro. Yeah, you know. And I'm like, it's okay to like go hang out with your friends. You're coming home together, right? And y'all are hanging out with your friends together, or not, right. or whatever. It's right. not a big fucking deal. No. I think it's just people get like trust issues or yeah. they abandonment issues. There's a lot of different psychological shit behind yeah. it. A lot, a lot, you know, in past relationships and, you know, the a lot wrong, of trauma. Yeah, a lot of the trauma, wrongs bro. and right you may have caused. So, yep. yeah, yeah, that's un it's understandable, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. but like we just said, you couldn't pass the leap. I couldn't pass that leap test. Remember eighth grade? It was mm -hmm. the first year that uh, we, when I got to eighth grade, you had to pass it. I failed the uh, math portion by a point. Had to go to summer school for the first time, which mm -hmm. sucked, just for the math. Passed it in summer school by like two points. Mm -hmm. Ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, you got to take it again. I think I can't remember now. So, dude, I failed it at Eric, so I had to retake it again in eleventh grade because if not, you're not passing. Right. So, I went to Fisher because they had like a better like math remediation program, Fisher High School, and uh, and you know because I was dating the girl and like right. the, you know she talked us into moving down there, which I thought was wild, bro. Like, ain't that crazy? You moved because your girlfriend? Kinda, kinda, and to go to that school, but I, I really. I mean, you stayed with your dad or with your mom? Yeah, with my mom. You stayed with yeah, my mom so and she, Aaron. Yeah, so y'all moved, dude. We built a house down there, bro, and that's the same house we live in. That's some powerful pussy. That, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, pussy will make you do some crazy <laughs> Fuck it shit, right. hey, bro. Fuck it talk right, to my bro. parents into building a whole fucking house somewhere else. Well, you a gangster. Dog, it worked. Cause you got more game than Nintendo. Hey, bro. Man. Hey, dude. <laughs> you talking? I got my way. <laughs> but real talk, I was like, man, I can't believe it's like yeah. that shit we said uh, on the other one. Like you chasing the cat, boy. Well, what what I thought yeah. about Did it was you catch it. Yeah, for for a couple years, but when, once it was all said and done, bro, I was like, man, I wonder if I would have like I should have just cut it off. Like, what if we'd have just broke up? That might have never happened. But then I was like, man, your ass would have never passed that fucking leap test. Right. Because, <laughs> dude, I was I was so bummed out because uh, Edwin, my friend Edwin, they, you know, he got so old, he had to, like, you know, they had, he had to, like, drop out. Mm -hmm. And, dude, to this day, he was like, he ended up getting his GED, but to this day, he was like, bro, I can't believe they kicked me out for that shit. And I was, like, right behind them. Damn. Yeah, because I was 19 when I graduated because I got held back a year. So. Right. I was scared. I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not about to get kicked out. I didn't go all the way through high school to get kicked out because of one test. thought that was kind of stupid. Right. Yeah. Well, so. fuck. But what, what, what happened to you after that? Like, uh, after school and with the chick? Oh. Well, we dated and uh, I went to beauty school. We moved in together. She cheated on me with her boss or manager. I moved back with my parents. Then moved to Metairie. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, cut hair out in Metairie. I've been here ever since. And I had to move back home like twice. So how you started doing hair? Bro, cutting hair on... You don't remember when I was cutting hair in the garage? Mm -mm. Yeah, after like B used to get his hair cut and then fucking Wayne whipped his ass and all that shit. Remember that shit? No, I don't remember that shit. Bro, in uh, Billy's backyard. You don't remember? Mm -mm. Remember B? Black B? He, like the tall skinny dude he used to come and cut everybody's hair on the corner sometimes? Before I went to uh, Luke, because I learned how to cut hair from Luke. He lived on 
Damn, dude, I can't remember. But he had the shop right there. Uh, on Ames. Yeah. But, it, but he used to cut it right off at Dolores. used to go to sometimes. Yeah, yeah. He used to cut it right off at Dolores, but um, he uh, his neighborhood was, like, tripping on it. Dude, he had, like, the perfect setup in his garage, and it was, like, all, like, you know, separated from the house. It was perfect, right. man. And, uh, but they fucking, um, yeah, they, like, kicked the, I guess, like, the uh, the neighborhood was, like, old. Mm-hmm. And so it, that's why he built that shop on Ames. But, dude, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to go there with Booker sometimes. Mm-hmm. So damn, that's how you, he he what well, he like just trained you up. So he Robbie used to bring me there. My next door neighbor Robbie. Mm-hmm. One day I saw Robbie's fade and I was like, man, that haircut is crazy, bro. I like that. And that was when the ball of fades came out and I was like, shit. I was like, all right, I'll go over there. And it was ten bucks. I was going every Thursday, dude. I was like fucking doing my chores, whatever I could do to make some. Well, I had a job at that point. I was like working at the car wash. I right. guess that happened too, getting a job. Mm-hmm. You know, and then um, I watched Luke for like a year. I was fourteen, and he was like, "Don't ask me questions, bro. Just fucking watch me. Don't don't ask me a million questions, which is hard." Mm-hmm. But I watched him so much. I would go over there after school <clears throat> and just watch him cut hair. I, that's when I just like I'd watch him cut hair, his own hair, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And then uh, I ended up doing that shit, dude. I started cutting my stepdad's hair and Josh's hair one day, and that was it. Damn. And I went to beauty school because my dad's like. You know, guys' hair is going to put food on the table. Women's hair is going to pay your house note because, like, you know, women get color and all that shit. You know, it's just more expensive. So you went off into the woman. Yeah, I went to John Jay, which Mm -hmm. is a a badass cosmetology school. And John Jay was, like, the king of New Orleans, you know, back in the day. So, um, I mean, I learned some of the best, uh, you know, etiquette there. That's dope. Yeah, bro. So I took, like, the shit I learned from, like, the street, and then I applied, you know, the modern-day techniques with, like, hairstyle into it, and then, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> but what, yeah. back to this girl, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Uh, no, you good. Yeah, you, you had to yeah, run bro. through that. Mm-hmm. I, I needed to hear that, too. But uh, mm-hmm. what happened? She just, I guess she was a little older than me, and I guess she got bored, you know? I don't know, bro. I guess I was, like, young, and I was, like, wanting to party too much. And she was, like, she party with me, but I think she was just How on a different older? level. Well, dude, when I was 16, she was 20. I was in, like, 10th grade, bro. Matter of fact, so I was a, all my boys thought I was a pimp. So you was getting that pro pussy. Yeah, bro. I was getting that, like, college pussy. Ding. Yeah, dude. I got lucky. It was cool, too. I mean, it was a cool, it was a cool time, bro. It was a wild time. Wild time. But at the same time, it's like, you know, she was very smart, so I learned a lot from her. She actually, like, taught me how to, like, grow up faster. Mm-hmm. So I, like, by the time I was, like, 19, I felt like I was fucking prepared she for the world. She taught you how to fuck? Uh, you, you, yeah. you, you were the in and out? Yeah, I was, uh, bro, I was watching so much porn back then. Remember that shit, bro? So I felt like I had to be a pro by the time I met her, you know, because I was like, girl, I've been watching vo- uh, video. I've been mm-hmm. watching footage. You know what I'm saying? But who knows, man. You started you started eating the box? Dude, dude what they call that? M- uh, muff box? Munch box? You was eating it? Of course, dude. I'm, just, I, I'm asking because, you know, I remember me being, me being younger. Oh, and, bro. you know, it you was see? just like, nah, I'm not eating. Yeah. No, you know. I guess what I'm saying? You, I didn't you know, want you to. You Caucasian. So I, didn't, I know. I know. I didn't want to, but I did it. <laughs> you didn't it want to? Yeah. Well, because, like, you know, I guess back then, I guess, like, it wasn't like, you know, chicks didn't want to shave, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it was like, I was like, damn, bro, I look like somebody. And, and you, 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 you clean. I was like, like yeah, yeah, oh, well, yeah, bro, you know, I mean, like, get my hands dirty. So I was just like, damn, bro, I look like a fucking. Women, please clean that up, please. Yeah, Go bro, ahead yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's shout that? Out, up? Shout out. <laughs> look like somebody was in a headlock. Yeah. Down there. I got nervous, bro. <laughs> I was like, man, mm-hmm. who the fuck down please there? Clean that up. Yeah, you need a whole feed. I want a ball feed. Straight up skin feed. Fuck it. I put a nigga initials in it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, dude. You know. But. Yeah. It was almost like when you go to pull the panties down, it's like the bush hit you and it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, like a little fro just hit you in the face. you like, uh, like, damn, sad. bro. I was like, shit. This jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a Brillo pad down there, bro. I got yeah, nerves. Bro. Yeah. yeah, bro. So I felt weird after that for a little bit. And I was like, all right, I don't think I'm going to do that no more, you know? But then once it's like, it's gone, you're like, damn, it ain't that bad, mm-hmm. you know? But I guess everybody's experiences with it is different, too. Right. 
Because I was never going to be the eat around guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I ain't yeah. eating around. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. ain't about to be. Right. Be put on Ray Sean there and be like, oh, he ate me. Oh, he ate me too. Like, pfft. Right. Bitch, right. you lying. Right, right, right. You don't, <laughs> you, you don't you want to be, be a special somebody. <laughs> Correct. To get, you know what You I'm don't want to be known as the dude that ate too much pussy. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. I, I, that's why I understand why some of them dudes be, when they holler at a chick, some of their lines be like, oh, uh, let me eat you out. Like, how the fuck you get there, sir? <laughs> like, like, that's. Uh, like, she's like, you know bro, what? Maybe I'll think about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, I'll let him go down on me. Fuck it. And then you still might not get the pussy. <laughs> like, that's just, that's retarded. I just want to know why you thought that was a good pickup line, bro. Yeah. Like, that's just, and, and if it works, who the fuck is working on? <laughs> like who the fuck is it working on? Of course, I had the, the fucking remote there for a long time. But, but right. yeah, son, I was never one of them. So you had to be a special somebody. I had to have some type of feelings, cause yeah, dude. Mm 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 mm. That it's, ain't that ain't no that ain't a good look. I mean, it ain't bad. I guess. So tell me, you was eating them all. No, 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 no. I'm picky too. I'm picky with that too, bro. I'm picky with that too. Uh-uh. Right, right. That's, I mean, uh, to me, that's personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's personal. It's definitely been with pretty much my girlfriends. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I was like, right. all right, if they're gonna do that for me, I'll hook yeah. them up. Hell yeah. Plus, I always like want want the urge to do it, but like I'm telling you, dude, they've been some chicks. I was like, bitch, I ain't even kissing you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like. Right. And, like, you would th- and, and you would have thought that I, I would have thought I would have wanted to, but yeah. I just had this like thing in my head where I was like, damn, I do not feel like going down on yes. this chick. Cool. Right. Because right. like usually I like that's the first thing I want to do. You know what I'm saying? My first time it was like a it was like a feeling that I had wanted to. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, uh, how can I Yeah, like, like like how I normally like feel. Like I wanted to do that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yep, yep, yep. Give me, give me the spoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's like but that's, yeah, what I'm that's how about. I felt. But it was like it, yeah, it had to be a feeling. It yeah, was, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, dude. And you gotta be, you know, your hygiene. Your Yo, personal for sure, hygiene. dude. Oh, fucking hundred percent. Yeah, if we, y'all both coming back from the gym, and like, even though you know you want to, you like, hey, look. I mean, but if that's like your your girlfriend, girlfriend, oh, yeah, you yeah. probably don't give a fuck. Oh, like, dude. But, but Come back from running. Stranger? Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. A stranger danger. Yep. <laughs> fuck all that. Yeah, dude. Uh-uh. Shave the box. Like, Shave the box, please. My stepdad said, if it smells like fish, it's a tasty dish. <laughs> if it smells like cologne, leave it alone. Mm-mm. I don't know what the fuck that means. They both yeah, sound he, bad. He fucked me up with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked me up he with that. He says all kind of crazy shit, bro. <laughs> Nigga, ain't good. Hey, no, bro. bitch, if it smells like fish, it uh, is fish. Uh-huh. And cologne, <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck she putting cologne oh, on it? Oh, yeah. You can't oh, fuck shit. with that either. Oh, god damn. You can't do that. It's so confusing. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know, dude. What about you? Me, uh, <laughs> man. We can't really get into that. We gotta yeah. save that for. Oh, that. we gotta save that, that for, for that later. Part. Yeah, 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 yeah. That part, that part four. Yeah, that, that part, part five. Four, yeah. So, so what else been up, dude? What else been up? Enough about me. Enough about me. Shit, I'm trying to figure out what happened to your knee. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro. Well, I mean, what you mean? What happened? But. For me, I'm fuck. I guess we could go, I could go into job shit, man. Uh, I fucking, you know, you know. I started I, my first job was at Labrys. I love that place, <laughs> son. That was my first little job, and I ended up fucking it up because I wanted to be at home doing stupid shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that young shit. You yep. be like, you know. So that's when we talk about them, and I don't, I don't want to be like, oh. Right, it sound right, like right, I'm right. old, but you right. know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it just be that young shit. Like, well, no, it's like true, oh, I want to be at home. I'm missing out. But hey, dude, it just, it's all dumb as fuck. When you're young, you sacrifice a lot of shit. When you get mm-hmm. older, you still want to sacrifice that same shit, but you mm-hmm. can't. Yeah. Like I would go to this fucking party tonight and stay out till about four, but I gotta wake up at six. Definitely. And I can't stay up all night like I used to. You know, my old lady would whip my ass first off. She can't stay up past <laughs> 10. Nah, I'm joking. Hey, she stay, I, she'll stay up until about 1, 1 30 on a typical night. Shit, but. mine's be Z. <sighs> Man, we can't watch nothing. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, bitch, just finish, finish this episode. All right. 
Yeah, dude. Well, gone. I actually, I'm pretty bad about falling asleep at the movies, which is kind of shitty because I love the movies, but I don't know. I mean, I guess if like I didn't work as much as I did, maybe I'd like have more energy. Yeah. But lately, I've actually been staying up in the movies. But like for a long time, Lieben is like, you always fall asleep. You like wasting your money. But I don't know. I just. Nah, man, I'd be up. I'd be up. Yeah. Bro. And I, I stay I, up late. Yeah. Yeah. I stay up late. But yeah, man, about the job shit, bro, I started or libraries and then I fucking fucked around, you know, Katrina happened. That dumb shit. But like I moved out uh I moved out of my mom's house when I was like twenty three. Right. Where where'd y'all go for Katrina? Uh I was with uh my ex and we uh we wasn't even gonna leave and we left last minute uh with Booger. Well Booger was with us, but my ex and her mom and we uh we went to Alexandria first. Was like at the fucking uh, little church, mm-hmm. you know, like a little shelter, and then after that we went by her people, way to Corpus Christi, Christi, Damn, yeah, Christi. yeah, 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 Christi. Yeah, I get that. I shit used to call it up. Corpus Christi. Too, <laughs> That's just sound good. <laughs> but yeah, Corpus Christi, Christi, Christi. <laughs> Christi. And we went up there, man. We stayed up there, and then I got a a good friend uh, of the family, Chucky, and he came, got me and Booger, mm-hmm. and we. Uh, he took us where the family was at, and it was in Galveston. So we stayed there in Galveston. It was, it was dope. How long you stayed there for? Until we was able to come back because uh, my ex, when they got back, I was still out there, and then I got checked to bring me down there, and I stayed out there for a little bit. Damn. Yeah, I think I went. I want to say I went back twice, and then once we got back, I had stayed in the trailer right in front of Mom's house. So... I was right in the trailer. Damn. Oh, uh, it's either there uh my ex house right up the street. Right. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Damn. Yep. But, but, and then it was crazy, man. It was the <laughs> that shit was crazy. Katrina was wild, bro. Yeah. It changed definitely uh changed my life. I wanna say I was like eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, it was like nineteen turning twenty. Mm-hmm. And it was just like and that's when when Ida hit, boy, that shit, like that shit, brought back all the memories, though. Yep. And I'm older now, bro. I cry easy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like I, I psh, ain't no lie. I'm a whole bitch. I'm talking about hey, dude, bitch, movie, like movie, movies. Movies made me cry hard. Dog, bro. easy, yeah, dude. Like leaving was like you always crying. Yeah. And I was like, I can't help it, bro. Dog, I I'm need sensitive. a fan. Look. Hey, dude, I'm sensitive. Pass yeah, I'll be, me t- I'll be telling my partner, bro, don't, don't send me no stupid shit, bitch. You gonna be <laughs> up in here making me cry, bitch. Like, don't be sending me uh-huh. nothing. I'll be glad my old lady fall asleep so fast because <laughs> yeah. if we watching the movie, Should look, I'll be, be like that. this with my eyes open, <laughs> looking at her. Like, I hope this that bitch shit. don't see me cry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we gonna be like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, oh, bitch ass nigga, you crying, huh? Look, hey, dude. He be trying to get me to watch the notebook and shit by partner. I'd be like, dog, I ain't I ain't ready. You should have called yep. me in my twenties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. When I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Not everything. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, everything. Bro. Hey dude. I was watching a cartoon the other day. Soul, that shit had me crying. Yeah. Mr. Tommy was crying his ass off. I was like, damn, Tommy. Oh. He was like, it's such a good movie. I was like, fucking. And I like, haven't even watched it yet, hey, but, bro. You know, I got it for the kids. <laughs> well, the, Jamie Foxx did an incredible job. I mean, he's a beast. As but always. I mean, it just, uh, it just, there's so much meaning behind it. And I was just like, damn, dude. Just a fucking great movie. Yeah, you know, and it's a cartoon, but like I said, that shit had me crying. Yeah, but on a slick though, because I ain't want Tommy to see me crying. But then I realized he was crying, and I was like, like you know what? Fuck, fuck it. it. Uh-huh. That's that. Fuck, we that's was that man in us. Well, you I mean, know? you know, we took a, uh, some little shrooms too. Man, but I cry in front of man, but it's just like oh, something, yeah, it's something well, about my, my old lady. My dad <laughs> cries all the time, bro. Like he be watching Hallmark crying. I'm like, I ain't never seen this motherfucker cry so much in my life. But he does, bro. It's just something about my old lady. I don't want to cry in front of her. Yeah. She, yeah. She be talking shit, shit. Yeah, she'll use that shit forever. Mm-hmm. Yo, bitch, that's why you was crying. We was watching fucking Lion King, yep, bitch. Yep, that's why you a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. And then you start tearing up. Like, yeah, I'm a bitch, huh? Got a tear, a whole shit, tear in my no, eye. You gotta, you gotta take that show. Sure is, bitch. That's what you wanna see. I'm a whole cry. Bitch. You wanna put, see me cry? Put Lion King back on, bitch, uh-huh. so I can cry again. It's the circle of life. About, go cry about your phone, kid. Mm. I'm playing, bitch. I like you. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny, bro. But that shit crazy, 
Huh? That shit crazy. Yeah, dude. I guess that shit come with age, man. Like, well, you just, you know, you have, you know, responsibilities. You're married. You have kids, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you see, like, you've seen them cry. You've seen them hurt. All that shit. So, like, I think you just become more, like, you have more feelings like that. Right. You know? Sentimental, I guess. Right. Yeah, bro. You got no choice, bro. Unless you're just a cold hearted motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, and why are you crying? Right. And you know we not like that. So it's no, like, no, bro. I'm a I am do not even know. I always talk shit like I'm gonna discipline my kids, but like I don't even know if I can. I mean, I've hit my dog twice ever in my life. And I mean, both times I felt so horrible. Mm -hmm. Even it's like, you're a bitch. I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. I know. I was I, like, but I don't know what I'm gonna do because I feel like like you know, you need some ass whipping. Yeah. A few of them. I feel like that. I got maybe like six or seven, but I, I mean never not, you know, them. nothing malicious, you know. No, what I'm just saying? like but to to get your yeah. ass right. That right. way you don't fucking do it again. Right. But like for like the better good. Right. You know? Like the ones I got, I I ain't never did it again. Right. <laughs> but if I would have kept repeating, I guess, those things that happened, right. Might be bad. Yeah. And I tell my kids, nah, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, touch you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not, I don't want. I, don't I ain't trying to hurt that. you. Yeah. But I feel like you but just. Like, but you got to do what the fuck I'm right, telling you to right, do. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. It, it, it's crazy, man. If they're not afraid of you, bro, they ain't going to be afraid of nobody. Mm -hmm. So then that means they ain't going to respect anybody. They right. don't respect you. So you got to, like, show them who, who the boss is. Right. But, like, as and they're going to respect you, too. And, and like, you're going to respect them. Like, you know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> Right, because at the end of the day, you just want you just want the best for him. Right, but I feel like it can't be like uh how it used to be. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like my mom used to always tell me like uh she used to say like uh when I'm when I whoop your ass, I'm gonna tell you what I'm whipping you for. Like I'm not just gonna whip your ass. Right. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's so cool. It's, it's kind of like explaining yeah. Yeah. what you're getting your ass whooping right. for. Right. That way you have to start it's, trying to understand. Like that way you're yeah. not doing it again over yeah, and over. Yeah. You ain't looking at her like, what the fuck I did? Right. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> but some parents just be whipping ass. And they don't say nothing. Yeah. And it's that's that's mm -mm. that's not good. No, it's not good at all. But you know, at a certain age, you know, you just you don't get them no more. Yeah. So I'm yeah I'm 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 with that. I'm not into like really chastising them anymore. You know what I'm saying? Right. Any more than I feel like they have to. Yeah, dude. Because I always, I always tell them, you know, like, uh, like you, you know, your fucking, your consequences ain't everybody's consequences. You Correct. know what I'm saying? Like Correct. Your consequences are going to be different. So that's why my consequences towards you has to be different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, because there are going to be some kids, you know, that don't have that structure, uh, even you know, even if it's not to do anything spectacular, you know what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, even as a, a regular human being, right? That's just don't know limits. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like you know, even like you said, I ain't never did it again. So when you went out in the world, yeah. like yeah, that that ass will be stuck. You know oh saying? yeah, dude! You mm -hmm. thought twice about doing the stupid mm -hmm. shit that you was gonna do because you knew there was a consequence. Yeah, and the consequence is you're gonna get that ass whipped. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, and like I can't fuck up my dad. So like you know what I'm right. saying? Who I'm gonna get? I mean, I was <laughs> little, so right. You know, I knew he. You know, but once you get older and you realize, like, damn, if I would have fucking still did that, I'd have been a little asshole. Right. Or I'd have dropped, I fell out of school because I would have ended up, you know, getting in so much trouble. They would have kept kicking me out. Like, you know, it's just right. been crazy, bro. And I think children that don't have that, man. Oh, even, yeah, bro. Uh, even even if, you know, it's like uh, they don't even whip them, but just some sort of Let love. them do whatever they. Yeah. yeah. Some sort of love is like now those children are put into a world where they're not going to be able to disrespect everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you can't always save your child. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, don't put your child in that situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Show them some discipline, some structure, some manners. Some you know love. what I'm saying? Yes. A little bit of everything. If if they don't respect the parent, how are they going to respect another adult? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. And I always, you know, I always go back to that. Like, uh, you know, it's more modern now with that, but. Because everybody feels as if uh, their child is right. You know what I'm saying? 
like uh, if the child come back and be like, oh, they did me this. It's like the parent don't even care what the other parent has to say or what the other child has to say. Instead of saying, you know, those are just kids and these things happen. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like they're going to fall, you know, but they're going to be like, who pushed him? You know, but the other parent doesn't even want to hear all that. They're just angry because that's their child. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's just not how the world works. You ain't going to always be able to save that child. You just ain't. Yeah. Ain't. Ain't. Yeah. That's <laughs> true, bro. You're, you're not, man. You're like, once they get into the world, they in it. Like, there's, there's plenty of things. There's pretty of, plenty of dumb shit I've done that my mom don't know nothing about. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you can't save them. It was up, for, up to me to learn those lessons and be like, oh, I'm not going with them again. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, So, but... Yeah, and hopefully just, your parents teach you enough values for you to value your life and like just mm -hmm. the people in it. Yeah, because like you, I've, I've done some crazy shit and I've also, you know, been around crazy shit. But I was like, you know what? That's a little too crazy for me. Yeah, but that's the crazy shit you have to see. And that's another thing like with parents who don't, who try to keep their child too close. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't keep them that close. I, it's like they have to experience the world, and if they don't know nothing of it, they can't, you know, like grasp the sh like reality right, almost. Right. You know what I'm saying? They they see something on TV. Oh, I'm gonna go grab a gun and point it at somebody and right, rob them. Right. But you didn't let your kid out this house. Right. Like you know to experience things like that's just for them to say, oh fuck that, I ain't doing that again. Huh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Huh, and bro. It's like to me, I always explain it like this is. As if you have a fucking dog in a cage for at least a long ass time. Right. When you let that dog out that cage, what does that dog do? Go piss? No, that motherfucker go in the yard and run around in circles, like just built up energy. And I feel like that's what happens to a child that's being kept Oh yeah, from like dude. you oh, know, yeah, bro. reality, you society. You ever seen like, a kid you know run in the house, bro? Like you ever seen a kid just run out of the house? He just yeah, or she bro. just fucking running. <laughs> I'm like, Damn. and it's like you keep them from all that, but when they get out, they gonna run into all that because mm -hmm. they gonna be right, <laughs> right, right, run around the fucking yard like a dog that's been locked up for ten days. Right, like that's how they are. And I just, psh, parents need to stop it, man. And and the disrespect for elders, like, and that's another thing, like you know, my mom them didn't do is like if my auntie says something. That was law. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I couldn't tell my mom anything about what my aunt said. You get what I'm saying? Right. So it showed me I wasn't above my auntie. You get right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, I can't go to my mom and be like, auntie did this. She could be like, shut the fuck up and go sit down. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But to me, that's how it's supposed to be. Right, because right, right, right. Because now kids know the, the fucking, the mom don't want other dad for anybody to tell them nothing about their child. Right. So you can't tell them that your child is wrong because they don't want to hear it. You get what I'm saying? So now when they when a child approaches any adult, the disrespect is Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why like these kids do these things. They yeah. don't respect their elder. But it's the parents. Yeah. It's the parents. Oh, you that, that's my child. I know he wouldn't do that. No, you don't. He's a child. We do stupid. We did stupid shit. You know, they do stupid All the time, shit, bro. I still do stupid shit. Yeah, but it's like the parents got to understand your child going to do stupid shit. Yeah, dude. But you got to let them do some stupid shit. Yeah, you got to let them learn, too, mm -hmm. because um, what I've noticed. But you can't put them above adults because. No, man. I mean, there's no respect. Yeah. There's none. Yeah. None, bro. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, uh, Talking to one of my daughters, lip, you know, and he just was talking crazy. And I'm like, dude, I'm your elder. Like, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. But it, they don't, it's not like that no more. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even like, well, I don't look, you know, of age. But, you know, even him knowing, like, because we wasn't like face to face. But even him knowing, like, oh, this guy is older than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should have some respect. It was like, it wasn't like that. You didn't that. feel, yeah. Yeah. It was like he, we were equals. You know Damn, what I'm saying? Bro. 
And I think a lot of children like that. Yeah, I did know. Yeah, I do notice that. I'm like, huh. Yeah, it's like pfft, even pulling up to fucking McDonald's and shit, you know. And I'm like, thank you. And it's just like, shit, like they don't say shit. You be like, God damn, bitch, where's your manners? Yeah, bro. Like, that's just, I guess that's something that just stuck with us. Yeah. Uh, like you said, that ass whooping. Mm. Mm -hmm. We couldn't say certain shit. Even mm. even when I hold the door open for somebody and they don't say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to tell them thank you, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Right. They might start talking shit, then I'm going to have to talk shit, and I'm be like, man, I just tried to hold the door before. Right. You. But you just <laughs> couldn't say thank you. Yes, you couldn't say thank you. That's, like, fucked up, bro. Yeah. Like, I'd be pissed if, like, yeah. somebody didn't hold the door open for my grandma. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just, like, like, but you should just do it for people. Mm. People aren't kind to people anymore. No. They're really not, and it's kind of sad. It's real sad, bro. It's real sad, and it's just like, damn. Well, where are we going? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to hell if yeah. we don't pray. <sighs> Shit. And it's just like, look at the kids now, man. Like, it's just so disrespectful. Like, yeah. my, my partner caught one of the kids on camera stealing his, just going his car. And it's just like, God damn, bro. Damn, bro. And his it's own like, kid? that's it. Huh? His own kid? No, it was just like a kid. Oh, they pulled God, up man. in the car. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Go in his car. At least take it wasn't. Shit. At least it wasn't his kid because that would have sucked. Which because they got kids that do this shit to yeah. their own parents too. <clears throat> so it's like, <sighs> yeah, and that's that's them kids that don't have no discipline. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I catch my kid doing that. They fucking dead. <laughs> I'm taking them out right there, dog. I'm a John Wick. They ass. <laughs> This man always talking about John Wick. Yeah, bro, I'm going to fucking slam him on top of a table and break his neck. I'm going to be like, because he was going to steal all kind of other shit. It's motherfucking then, imagination. Uh-huh, I know. That's what Liebman always says. She's like, you got a wild imagination. That motherfucker said snap snap his neck. <laughs> well, like, remember when John Wick, he threw that dude on the table and uh -huh. then he just fucking hit his head. Oh, you had like, a specific like, part. Yeah, like. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, because I'm going to be in the kitchen when he's stealing the shit, right, or wherever they at. Right. And I'm going to just slam his ass on top of the table. He's probably about 8, 10 years old. Well, maybe a little bit older. Mm -hmm. But it's like, oh, yeah, you thought you was cool? I'm about to show you. Right. I'm cooler. <laughs> and then I'm explaining that shit to the cops. I'm be like, bro, I mean, he was my son. Right. He's probably going to go steal from you. Y'all probably going to end up shooting him, on, you know, one right. day. I mean, because, like, if it starts in the household, it ain't it ain't stopping. It, it, you gotta I mean, I can't early. decide that, but, you know, like, that's what does happen. Yeah. That's the... <clears throat> that's, uh, uh, and then I would ask myself, percentage. like, how the fuck did he start stealing? I didn't teach him that shit. Yes. But you got to nip that shit in the bud early. We're oh, going yeah, to bro. store you steal it. Matter of fact, it happened to my kids yesterday, and they didn't really, like, steal anything. Right. They went and took a rock. And yeah. They bought the rock, and my stepdad was like, my dad, he said, you know, where, where y'all got this from? And he walked them to everybody's house on the block and Ooh, knocked on the door. Oh, no shit, yes. bro. Yes. So Holy shit. You got that embarrassment and you had to go return the rock and say I was sorry. Yeah. And and my wife was like, Oh, you, you know your daddy? I'm like, let him go. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let him go. And guess what? Mm -hmm. That's why you hope who you are the way you are now, bro, mm -hmm. because you was raised right. You know what right. I'm saying? And like and they were probably fucking hating that at that point. They yeah. were like, damn, I don't want to do yeah. that. Yeah. So guess what? They ain't touching no more fucking rocks. <laughs> I mean, that's all sorts of discipline, you know. It's not oh, yeah, just, dude. you know. <clears throat> but but the the spanking for the very bad shit. Yeah. Yeah. You do some very bad shit. But I remember doing some dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. I stole a lighter one time with my friend. I ain't even steal a lighter, but I was an accomplice. And my dad found out. And uh, he was like, if I found out you stole this shit, I'm going to kill you. And I was like, I believed him. You know, because he was a cop, bro. So mm -hmm. he was just like. You know, he's picking up fucking thugs off the street, and he's like, you doing this shit, too? So I guess he thought I was going to be like that. But, dude, I, I remember that ass whipping. I pissed on myself. Yeah. I mean, he dropped he, me, bro. He, he yeah, dude. Out. Well, I had to go over <laughs> to the guy's house. The dude's name was Eric. <laughs> so I'm like, Mr. Eric, I'm sorry, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and he was like, yeah. Took, he's like, go inside. I was like, all right, go inside. Bro, that was a wrap. People right. thought I was dying in there. They was like, he heard you screaming. But, dude, he was just yeah, disappointed. Yeah, because... Because we don't realize we're embarrassing our parents. Well, yeah. Well, you and also he was like, "Bro, if you go to jail, you know he could press charges." I'm like, "What?" And he yeah. was like, "Yeah, bro, you can go to jail." And he's like, "If you go to jail, I'll fucking kill you." So like, you can go to jail over that. Like right. so, I mean, when I heard that, I was just like, "Damn, bro, that's crazy." Yeah. You know, so you don't realize that when you're young, bro, and like people do shit 
their first time offense and they might have just been an accomplice but they yeah, get in trouble they get in. <laughs> and they go to fucking juvie bro and it's like that's where it starts yeah so like i think he was just like dude i never stole nothing again in my fucking life no <laughs> Bro, right, nah, I, I kind of learned. I'm my honest, lesson. Abe, nah, bro. Like, well, I kind of learned my honest. lesson early when it when it came to like stealing, bro. And it was like it was never like I was getting caught or anything. But I remember like me and Josh, uh, mm-hmm. me and Josh <laughs> used to be together all the time. Oh bro. yeah, dude. And we used to ride the Bell Promenade, and we used to go and deal it and like hit it up and like yeah, like socks and fucking uh tank tops. We used to just take our bikes and hike up that bit. Damn, so, dude. But I learned it early, bro, because it's like every time I stole something, it ended up missing or fucked up some kind of way. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you, you build the conscience after that. Yeah, you feel like, like your karma's getting yeah. you before and you it, even know what karma even is. When, even if you, like, took something from somebody's house, you just, like, you like, Ugh. like, you know what I'm saying? And then you don't want that, that reputation. You know no, what I'm saying? No. So, like, and I hate, you know, I hate that, man. I dealt with that, uh, when I was doing plumbing, bro, and there's a older guy named Paul. So on Friday, man, we used to always get out little weed mm-hmm. from like a black man down the street from where we had the shop at. Right. So man, we in there, uh, and I, I don't like. I guess this is kind of a bit racist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he was an older guy, and we work. We did the plumbing together, or whatever. So we all, you know, we all getting there. It's another guy, uh. A black dude, me and him was tight. You know, I always work with him. The boss was like my uh, my wife's uh, uncle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we'd go in there and we'd smoke on Fridays and then we'd roll out, but everybody bought their shit. So, you know, I bought my shit, they bought theirs, and this motherfucker, he took his, I guess rolled his, put his shit in his sock. So, you know, we smoke, blah, 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 everybody finishes, we get up, he can't find his weed. <laughs> So he's like, he's panicking. Oh man, I can't find my weed. I can't find my weed. Oh, bro. I can't find my weed. And he's insinuating that like me or Ray has it. Oh, you know bro. what I'm saying? And oh, bro, he goes. But he this just big, smoked your weed. Yeah, he, we all just <laughs> smoked together. And you know what I'm saying? And he just like, oh, uh, uh. and he's searching. And then he like at the end, he's just like, oh man, I had it in my sock. And it's just like, but you, Damn, bro. Yeah, that bro. Sucks, and it's bro. just like, and you know, but I hate that reputation. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? That's why I, yeah. like, I, I never do that. I don't want to come in somebody's house yeah, and dude. just be like, man, something's missing. Yeah, oh. bro, because guess what? It's like, once you think somebody's a thief, bro, it's like you don't yeah. even want to fuck yeah. with them no more. Yeah, dude. and then you got to be on Hawkeyes <laughs> when they come in your house. Yeah, You're just bro. like, what, the, what this motherfucker? And then... It, you, you know, and then you fucking you you may do some dumb shit like right. blame them for stealing something when they re- really didn't do it. Right. But it's all because of the reputation they had. Yeah, you know correct, what I'm saying? Correct, correct. And you be like, hey motherfucker, you, you, you stole my socks? Bitch, I know you got my joint. <laughs> and that bitch in my ear the yeah, whole time. Yeah. <sighs> and you done fucked up a whole relationship mm-hmm, because that mm-hmm. motherfucker had that reputation. Well, bro. hopefully what they get from that is uh they stop fucking stealing, stealing. because yeah. their reputation yeah. made their friend think they stole their shit. Yeah, but so, they still, But they probably wouldn't think like no, that. That's fuck an no, addict. That, yeah. <laughs> that they like bitch, they don't think like that. Like, bitch, I'll steal your shit now. No, that, that's what they're gonna say. That's why I stole one bitch, of your you let me back over uh-huh. there. Uh-huh. I'm stealing everything. I stole two of your spoons. <laughs> Bitch. Look, they probably with some other shit while you asking them about the joint. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about the joint, but uh-huh. they got fucking shoes in their uh-huh. head talking about, no, I ain't got your joint. Just looking yep. at your shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we don't, you don't want that reputation. Nah, bro. Want to take a uh, piss break? Yeah, we can take one. And a uh, smoke break? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's what I was talking about. Yes, uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what you got going on tomorrow, bro? Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Work, 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 work. work. What you did today? Today was your off day. Yesterday was your off shit. day. I cooked, cooked a little food, you know. It looked really fire. Yeah. Really fire. Yeah, I be trying shit. Yeah, I bro. I be trying shit, man. That's the, they said that's the only way you get better. Yeah, dude. That's repetition. what I'm talking about. Yeah, bro, bro. Shout out, High Noon. High Noon, shout out. Repetition. 
Shout out Nola Societies for the koozies. Thank you. Shout out Clever Breed for the coasters. The shirts. Yeah, man. Bel Air because Ray Ray loves to drink. Yeah, dig. Thank you, sir. Yeah, who, who made Bel Air? Uh, Ross? Ross. Yeah, Ross. Yeah. Ross. It is good, though. So, I there's, there's a few different flavors, else. huh? Yeah, they got a few of them. I think like four. I think the blue is my favorite. I think. Is, is that the one I liked? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They got that. that I don't know. It just has like that. Flavor. It just had, yeah, it's just got like that kick to it mm-hmm. in the back for me. I'm like, mm. Yeah, this is my favorite one right here. Yeah, what what flavor is that? It's just the lux. F- how you say, how you how, how would you pronounce it? Lux. Yeah. Lux. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. They got a Lugsy? gold one. It don't taste. I, I guess because this one's sweeter, so yeah. that's why I like that my favorite. Well, the blue one's sweet, huh? Yeah, that one's sure. too, and a and a pink one's sweet. Yeah, that's the rose, huh? Yeah. The oh, black bro. one's good. We had it. We yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it black or blue? It's no, but the bottle's like black, right? Yeah, with like pink, right? Yes, 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 yeah, they're pretty good, though. Yeah, but yeah, I wanted to ask you something, it was uh pertaining to that. <laughs> Y'all move it to <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Lafitte, yeah, oh girl, man, she had that wap, that wap, that wap, wap, yeah, I guess. I mean, at the time, I guess that's what I thought that was it was. It your first, huh? No, it was my second, dude. Yeah, the second. yeah, but it was like the first was like a one and done thing. So yeah. first was just like it, was it happened like, one time and that was it. So I was just kind of like, damn. It was on a water bed too, you know. So the f- the fucking water bed was like fucking up my wave, and it was just throwing your, me off my first rhythm. Time? Yeah, on a water bed, bro. <laughs> I was catching waves so and catching. Like, I mean, it, it was weird, like bro. A, it was just like you had met her and y'all just decided. No, like, dude, she was like my dad's next door neighbor's like grandma. Like her, uh, it was her, her granddaughter. Mm. So like, yeah. So I've been knowing her since I was like little. I guess since we moved. And y'all just decided to experiment. Yeah. Well, you know, I like you had like seen somebody that you hadn't seen in a while. We had like tried to date, I think, or we always liked each other. Mm-hmm. We were both just single. We had seen each other at my dad's. I was like, "Man, what you been up to?" She's like, "Oh, nothing," you know, because we all went to school together, right? And um, we just ended up like dating, I guess, and mm-hmm. uh, we went on like a date or two and played around. Yeah, that's it, bro. And then I was like, "Damn." Yeah, because my like, she, my first time was like a fucking. Uh, she ended up cheating on me, bro. I was like, "Damn, bro." Oh, like so, y'all was official. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was a girlfriend, and then uh, I thought she was. <laughs> she cheated on me I was like well fuck She was just cinnamon apple huh? That's it bro and I felt played as fuck But uh, I was like you know what It's cool man It's cool you know, I mean, I how, like, how did that make you feel Bro I felt played at first I was like man Was it not big enough Or was it not good enough Or Cause I was like It was my only time So I wasn't But I thought I was Throwing down pretty fire <laughs> Especially in a water time? bed Like yeah <laughs> Well cause I was like You know Watching a lot of flicks Cause I knew it was gonna happen so I remember watching so flicks with my boy. You was taking Josh. porn of this shit. I, w- I was I was take I was basically watching porn for like footage, like football footage. Like so I'm sitting there studying. I'm like, all right, that's how you got to do it. Cool, because so I'm like you visual. Study it enough to know that how to do it. But that they're all naked, butt ass naked with boots and white socks on. Yeah, well, no, nah, bro. <laughs> no, we just all take all the clothes off. <laughs> yeah, we just take, yeah. The motherfuckers be having boots on. Like yeah, dude, <laughs> they always got some sort of shoe on, whether it's sandals, be like boots. This nigga. They got yeah. boots and shit on the fucking. They never, they never take all their clothes off. It's very rare no. you see feet. That's crazy. <laughs> Unless it's like foot fetish, fucking. Hey. I guess. They'll leave their hat on. They leave. I'm like, damn, bro. That y'all just like. They could be butt ass naked with some fucking Timberlands and some fucking Nike socks. <laughs> yeah, dude. It must be like a, a porn code. Like you got. Like, nigga, you better put the on. boots on. Yep. Yep. Strap up, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, I, gotta, like, gotta, I just jizzed yeah, yeah. all over this chick's face. Yeah. Like, you better wear protection, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, bitch, I got to get my leverage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she going to grip them sheets, and I'm going to grip this yeah. concrete. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> but, that, but, yeah, continue. With yeah. That. Trying so to think. You, no, you was talking about uh, your first time. Yeah, I know. I mean, that was pretty much wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That was, uh, it was done. So you thought y'all had a relationship after that? I thought so, yeah. I guess I was sprung on that puss, you know. But was that her first time? 
Fuck no. Uh, no, I think she cheated yeah. on me with her ex. <laughs> you was in over like your that. head there. Yeah, that's what I, well, yeah, I knew I was, I was fucking with an experienced chick, yeah. so I felt played. I yeah. was like, I was like, damn, So she bro. was like, nah, they ain't. Yeah, she they was like, sorry, E. I'm, but I'm like, I know, but. You ain't like, give it to me like old uh-uh, boy. Uh-uh. Yeah, I know. And I was like, damn, this is, I got more than that. You ain't shake that ass. Nope. <laughs> I was like, I said, I blamed it on the waterbed. I was like, man, this waterbed, fuck my flow up. <laughs> but I was like, shit, let me ride that wave a little longer and I'm going to get it, girl. Oh, man. But, my, uh, my first time was like a fucking. Uh, uh, at a, a water flip. park, a flip, <laughs> a basically. flip. Yeah, the hell is that? Some chick, and I'm with my partner, and you know he was oh. he was ahead of me. Oh, okay. He was ahead of me in that department. You know he was stinging him, pretty ass little white boy. You know, mm-hmm. and so I'm like, shh, I gotta follow this nigga. You know, yeah, what I'm he know where it's at. There you go. <laughs> he know what a uh, hunt mm-hmm. did. So, well, that motherfucker, you know, I follow him. He was like, Ray, oh, we gotta look. So we go over there, sneaking a window, and that was like my first time, bro. It was just like, what? Yeah, bro. It wasn't no nothing special. It was just like, um, bro. Yeah, we was in that bitch. My first time, I'm clapping hands with this nigga. Look, damn, <laughs> dude. I was 16. We in that um, bitch. He bro. like Ray. He laughing. So I'm just like, and you know me, I still, I still had that fucking that same respect that I have for women. So I'm like, should I do this? Like, how would she feel if we and this bitch clapping hands? You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. like, thinking about how she she thinking of it. And, correct, correct. But I still Y'all started. were clapping hands while y'all were both banging her? Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's home, And bro. that was my first time. Home, bro. <laughs> Damn, Boom. dog. Yeah, bro, it was crazy. Home, bro. And after that, it was like, mm, let me go ahead and. Fuck with the next one. Yep, yep, yep. I'm a pro now. <laughs> Ain't know what the fuck you doing. <laughs> like, where's your friend at, girl? Cause mm-hmm. uh, I'm used to two. Don't don't know what you was doing. <laughs> um, bro, it's crazy. That's man, a wild man. experience, dog. Yeah, I could barely handle fucking hanging around one person for my first time. I can't imagine having another there. That was my that was my way in the door. Um, bro. <laughs> I remember one of my boys wanted me to bang his old lady one night at a party because we were like rolling, took ecstasy. Bang his old lady. Yeah, bro. Well, the thing is, I had hooked them up. Like they were boyfriend and girlfriend because she worked with us at the store, but he didn't work there. So, and I hooked them up. You know, she she had like a nice body, but she wasn't like the, like the best looking chick. But you right. know, like, and he was just like dating her, and he was like, man, you know, like we were all like fucked up, and he's like, you know what, dude. You wanna you wanna bang my old lady? I was like, what you mean? He's like, you wanna run it like a threesome? I was like, man, you sound crazy right now, <laughs> no dude. I'm fucked threes. up. Yeah, I know. I was like, I was like, hey, right, bro. I was maybe like, he was feeling you. No, I know. I mean, no, dude. Well, because we, we was always like talking about like her ass and shit, and you like, you know, when you fucked up and you're rolling, you thinking like everybody looks good. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, bro. Like I would never want to do that. I was like, nah, bro. You fucked up. I was like, look, tomorrow morning you're gonna be thanking me that like we're not doing this. Right. He's like, all right, bro. And I mean, you know, I probably could have like had that with somebody else, but I was like, ah, I didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was just enjoying the night. Right. Dude, the next morning, he's like, bro, I am so glad we didn't fucking do that. I'm like, can you imagine that, bro? Yeah. I'm like, you know, you got to be like, Y'all people that do that shit, like, you got to be into that shit. Yeah. If you ain't into that shit. And then you feel like you love her, you're going to go crazy. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. what I thought. I was like, bro, that's like the one for you. You would never fucking want to marry her. Yeah. Even if we did do that. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'd have to do that with somebody like totally mm-hmm. like you. They only, they only got one a, of y'all know each other. They only got a few men who... who Accept that You know what I'm saying Like Oh yeah man Like knowing their wife Done that They'll be like Alright that's cool Right Yeah that, well That's because they into Like other shit too You know So I guess it's like But that's also A crazy subject For me too Because Like man I remember working At the Soleil And it's a uh, And I asked this dude And you know Me as a younger Or any man Would feel like Like yo If My wife or my girlfriend Cheated on me That was Uh no comeback like you know what i'm saying you're not coming back from that like that's over like you know what i'm saying like for a man i feel like most men feel that way right you know what i'm saying but i i ended up asking you know my friend this question he was like i don't know and I, like that like i want to say i was like 26 but that gave me like a whole different perspective of like a lot of shit 
You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Because he was like, he was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I would have done to make her feel some type of way to want to step out know. and do that. Right. So it was just like, damn. Like, you know, I have never thought about it that way. Mm-hmm. And that made me question, like, damn, would I leave my wife? You know what I'm saying? Right. If that was to happen, like, but what what didn't I do? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, yeah, that's that's that yeah. changed my mind. Like now, unless she mm. was giving her everything and she still just cheated on you, then that's yeah. just then you got to leave. Yeah. You know, if you yeah, you know, your once man, your mentality fucked up. Man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't once do, I, might, I wasn't fishing good that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once I might uh, I might their their own fish. Slide. Yeah, but mm-hmm. uh, twice. Nah, yeah. Just, now you're just being greedy. Mm-hmm. That ain't cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a crazy subject, man. You've had some wild shit happen to you, bro. Who me? I've yeah. seen a lot, Eric. Yeah, like, bro. I've seen. You a, told me that, but now I'm starting to. Like I've seen a lot. Realize I'm like that. Ray ain't lying. I've seen a lot of shit, and you know I was always observing. So. Oh yeah. It's just like. I've seen some mm-hmm. shit. Pay attention. And, 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 pay attention. And I guess it's kind of you know it, that shit kind of makes you who you are. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, hundred percent, bro. Mm-hmm. I believe you know. The way that we act, the shit that we've been doing our whole lives, it just gives you a different mindset, mm-hmm. you know, than some people. So you think very differently than most people. Right. I know I do. Bobo, a few others, but you know what I mean? Like, it makes you unique. So I think a lot of people wish they had that personally. Mm-hmm. I think anywhere. Yeah, bro. Keep thinking how you're thinking. Keep right. thinking these fucking microphones ain't working. I'm like <laughs> fucking with everything. I'm like, hey, wouldn't I feel like it's not going good? Yeah, I'd be feeling like it's cutting out for me too. Yeah, I know. But then, like when I watch the footage, it doesn't. It's kind of weird, man. It's like uh, with a uh, yeah, I don't know. Chris ends up taking the audio and he puts it. Um, we got to record like when we record on the camera. Mm-hmm. Even though we record through the computer now, we take the SD card footage from the roadcaster and then we like use both. So even if it is cutting out, it's still technically right like, recording on the roadcaster. Right. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> but yeah, the one with David, that's how I saved that whole video because I fucking it was like skipping. Right. And uh so I gave him the audio and the fucking video and he uh, Chris spliced the whole thing and I was like dude how does that happen right. he's like it's just the uh, computer isn't um like fast enough to keep up with it right which is kind of weird because this comes from like the roadcaster but I guess it's all like hardwired in I guess I don't know right. I don't even know anymore bro I'm still learning how to do all this shit well, it's crazy you gotta keep going but yeah it looks pretty cool it, it'll be better, I guess. I mean, what you think? I like how that uh, C look on your shirt. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I, I was just thinking we look like Mario and that, Luigi. That bitch over there flexing. <laughs> hear me? We look like Mario and Luigi, bro. Except, I, like, Luigi's got it on green, but, you know, it's close enough. Y'all got to know Eric squeezing whatever's in his hand mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let that bitch out. Mm-hmm. Look, if I move that high noon out of the way, yeah, uh-huh. I was just doing this, just chilling. Little, little little finger tap, little finger tap. Uh, so, um, what y'all got going on for Easter? I don't know, man. Uh, I think we're gonna go hear about uh, the mother in law. Yeah, yeah. They're supposed to be uh boiling some crawfish. <sighs> so, now are you? Do you ever try to boil crawfish? Not yet. I haven't. That's one thing I want to do, but so I'm waiting. You know. So um, I, I mean, I I did it with the step pop. You know, he he showed you everything. So I pretty much got it, but I haven't done it on my own. Yeah, yeah. Like, Aaron, Aaron showed me too, and mm-hmm. um, I think I helped him do it one time, right, babe? But realistically, it was like he did a lot of the work. But yeah. he, you know, yeah. But you kind of know what he did. Oh yeah, I got it all written in my notes on my phone, bro. Yeah, my ex boss did that to me too. Like you know, he showed me certain shit he did, but like everybody balls crawfish is different. Oh, for sure. Dude. Yeah, for sure. I definitely like trying new crawfish now, but I'm always going to like love, like, well, my stepdad and my dad both do it good, you know? Right. And that's not me being biased. It's just it's like, because like, I've had you tons can enjoy of different, them both. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, like I've had tons of different, uh, 
you know, family's crawfish, and it's like they're always like missing something or they don't add enough. It's right. like it might taste good, but not enough salt. Yeah. Might have like too much salt, but they bland. Like, you know right. what I mean? Which, you know, sounds weird, but it's true. Like, when it comes to like a, a Cajun crawfish flavor, it's like it's got to have that like pow. Yeah, and now they got a they got a place on uh I think Lafayette man they got they put broccoli in it. Damn. Yeah, dude, Aaron put sweet potatoes. Yeah, in fire, bro. They good. Man, I had uh, sweet pineapple. And savory. And, yeah, pineapple. Pretty good. We yeah. put uh we put the uh green onion uh no the green olives with uh garlic. Yeah, <sighs> bro. So we rolling. Yeah, cause the cause the garlic is just already good, you know, and then the olives are fire. And you know, like what's one of my favorite my uh, my ex boss uh when I was Brussels doing sprouts. With, he fucking uh, he balls a turkey. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's tight. That's tight. I never heard of that. Dude, <laughs> boils it. Yes. Like Dang. It, yeah, and I just look for it every year, man. I'm like, where is that? Where that fucking ball turkey? At? Man, that sounds like, crazy. How long they got to boil that for? I don't even know what the fuck he does, but I know I'll be some wild uh, shit. When I get my shit together, I'm like, yo, come show me what I gotta do. Like he puts it in a crawfish boil. Yeah. In the pot? Yeah. Oh, um, bro. That's got to take like pff, four hours, man. Dude. Shit, I don't I, know, bro. When I tell you it's amazing, well, to me. Like, it falls apart in a little tray or they got to put it in like a little special like he, thing? He takes it off the, the thing and puts it in like a pan, but yeah, with the juice. Mm. Yeah, it's just good. <laughs> I'm going to have to see this shit. Yeah, man. This shit sounds fire. I can't wait. Yeah, bro. When this is happening. I don't know. All right, I thought this <laughs> but was I, but uh, we, they they ball and crawfish uh, Sunday. Oh, tight, tight, yeah, tight, tight, tight. Sunday. So they they might have that. Mm-hmm. It's a possibility. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh, um, bro. And what you, what y'all got going? We're gonna um we're gonna go to my mom's house and uh, I think my stepdad's gonna be doing crawfish. But then we're gonna go to my real dad's house and my real dad be throwing down on some barbecue. Both of them got fire food. Um. I they be competing. Yeah, well, my my <clears throat> my real dad burns a lot of shit, so because he likes that burnt ass shit, so uh, you got to watch him on a, on a, on a good day, right? But he'll cook some fire uh, barbecue, but like sixty percent of it's burnt. <laughs> and be, so, like, be it, competing with your stepdad. Yeah, shit. my stepdad <laughs> shit's usually like pretty spot on. He got a smoker, like he ain't fucking around. Right. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't know. They, they both, like, my dad likes putting that crazy uh, Hawaiian, like, ribeye sauce shit on his steaks. Uh-huh. And my stepdad, we just cook them straight up, salt and pepper. Right. But they both have their flavors. You know what right. I mean? Like, I like it kind of raw and, like, bloody with the salt and pepper. Like, real, like, you know, black seas, uh black cracked peppercorn. Yeah. Pink Himalayan salt. But then, like, this Hawaiian, like, ribeye shit my dad made, I'm like, damn, bro, this shit's pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, it's just two different flavors, you know, but... uh Yeah, they have their own style. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I can imagine, boy. Yeah, but bro, I, 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 like, I like to fuck with the grill, too. Yeah, bro. So I'm saying we got to get together and, like... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I, cooking, bro. We yeah. love... Yeah, we love cooking, bro. We love throwing down in the kitchen. Because cause I learned a lot of shit, man. Like, uh, Oh, yeah, I could tell, bro. Like even like with your little uh, post you made today, I'm like, this motherfucker making ramen. <laughs> I was like, you go over here making ramen, bro. Uh bet I've been one. Like, I know what you had. What you asked me earlier? I said, do you, what was it? He was like, do I eat a? Uh, it's yakamine. Yakamine. I was yeah. like, man, that sound like fucking ramen. You never you know had I, it before? No, dude. Well, I mean, a lot of people make it, but they, you know, yeah. they make it different. Yeah, correct. And so I felt like I was like, man, I think I've only eaten that shit twice in my life, but. It's good. Yeah, it's like it's like it's soupy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's correct. Just, so it's like, you know, uh, I get you know, I always get a rump roast and I just cut it thin so the meat cooks fast and shrimp peel it and that's it and just like the flavor. Damn. Yeah, man. It's it's real simple, but it's Where yeah. where uh what kind of seasonings go in it? I mean like uh what I take and do is like uh onion, uh celery and uh garlic and you boil it in water mm-hmm. and then you strain it and then you like get this beef bouillon and you like uh let it dissolve in the water mm-hmm. and it's like give you that and after that you put like uh soy sauce in it and hot sauce damn so it's, it's real simple it's not too much seasoning or mm-hmm. anything like that you know except your green seasoning you boil it and make it that correct that, correct that Broth. Right, you know right, 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 right. 
it came to the Gross. state. But I was like, damn. Yeah, man. But I like I'm telling you, I, we gotta get over here and make you that. And hey, uh, bro. also I want y'all to taste the gumbo. Yeah, bro. Well, that crawfish rice is fire, dude. Yeah. Rayshawn makes a crawfish rice that's have you eaten on it for about eight days, uh, but that shit's <laughs> fire, bro. It's uh that's what I told my stepdad. I was like, dude, if we put this in like a gumbo, like the crawfish rice mixed with like gumbo, you know, because he likes to make crazy shit too, bro. Like he's he's always like thinking about I always tell him he should open a restaurant. Mm-hmm. That's Maybe, what I want to do, man. Yeah, bro. I mean And you know, I haven't uh, perfected the jambalaya yet, but I keep yeah. trying it. It's, yeah. it's it's one of them tricky things. Yeah, you just gotta Cause jambalaya is like a lot when you make it. Yeah, but it you know it's one of them uh you know party. Oh yeah, you can make that shit all the time, yeah. bro. Like if I'm coming over here. Oh yeah, easy. Oh, I got jambalaya. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah. But, but my wife and them they love the like the pasta lie. It's almost yeah. the same shit, but with pasta. Yeah, and so you cook your really rice good. really well too. You know, like the rice is good. Like it's like a good texture. That's why I told my lady I was like I feel like I could eat on this all the time. You know, like so to me. That's important, bro, when I eat food. And, I mean, you know, the meats are good, the season good. Yeah, all your stuff's good, bro, that yeah. I've been having so far. I guess, what, like, as you start cooking, you just, like, uh, you, like, figure out what you like the most. Like, you know, how you like yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how it was for me. And, like, you know, I, I moved out when I was 23. And when you were away, I was way in Kenner. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And. It's just like, you know, you want those home cooked meals, but you right. can't come to mom's house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I bro. can't. You start making your own home cooked yeah, so, shit. You like, know, I used to call. I used to, you know, that's why I, it's me and my grandma, you know, we built a relationship. Like, after I moved, like, uh, after I moved out, you know, me and my grandma built a relationship. Right. Like a, a tighter one, but it came from me wanting to cook. So I used to always call her and my mom, you know, and I'd fucking be like, Grandma, what I got to do? What I got to put in here? You know, what's this? What's that? And that, you know, those meals mm-hmm. went from, like, looking like shit to, right. you know what I'm Actually saying? Like yeah, something. and damn. tasting. And then my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, like, this is good. Just, like, you know, always calling my grandma. Mm. Calling my mom, like, what I got to do? What I got to do? And then I'm just starting to remember all those steps. And boom. Damn. And then now me, it's like, okay, now I got to add something extra. Like, I got to do my own shit with it. You know all what right. I'm saying? Like, so, all right, this is a different type of season. Mm-hmm. This is a different type of meat. Let me try this. Let me try that until I feel like uh, that's it. <laughs> right, right, right. Damn, uh, bro. So yeah. you've been practicing yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I'm talking about sometimes shit tasting like shit, you know, but it's like, all right, I'm going to do it this way. Hmm. Do it this way. Yeah, and I'm more of like, show me how to do it one time, and then I could usually replicate it, or like, I'll watch it one more time. But mm-hmm. but if you like tell me how to cook it, and I don't see it, I am i don't think I'm going to like cook it as great. And me, like with, I don't know if it's like an OCD, but like, I like everything from scratch. Like, I right. don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with the tacos, like if I can find time to make that shit myself, right. I would do it. But right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But right. that's how I am. I'm just like that. Like, I just be like, fuck that. I need that shit original. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> right, right. Because right, right. I feel like when you do shit like that, it's just like, it, it's, it, it tastes better. Correct, correct. Like, it's more it, wholesome. It definitely has an ingredient profile that doesn't fit like a normal yeah. meal. It's like you know somebody. You Like, you just know somebody put their extra in this shit. You be oh, like, dude. God damn. We ate at this place called Doris Metropolitan, and we got, like, the Wagyu steak, like, the Wagyu beef. It was, you know, everybody was telling me it was expensive. And, I mean, you know, like, people go to Ruth's Chris, other steakhouses. You know, it's probably, like, you know, $50, $60, $80, $90. Right. Bro, this steak was, like, 100 and, like, what was it, like, 165 big or 175 For, like, five ounces, bro. Yeah, they hey, said hey, that. Dude. They said that bitch a bad motherfucker. Hey, bro. This they thing said, right here, bro. They said it's serious. <laughs> hey, the ten ounce was like two hundred, and me and her like, and I got her this like crazy ass ribeye, and it was like it was like ninety five. I'm thinking, you know, because this is like one of those everything's a la carte, you know, and it's like you everything's aged, you know, like they had shit in there that was like you know seven hundred dollar wine bottles, a thousand dollar wine bottles. So, okay, I was like. Got her like a really like a good cut of meat, and then we got the way goo because that's what people go there for. 
But once like you ate a piece of the Wagyu and then you ate a piece of hers, you're like, it doesn't even taste like steak. That's how like she didn't want to eat her shit no more. So we ended up splitting like half of mine. She still had like half of hers. I was like, that's how wild the taste was. It was yeah. just like amazing. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I heard, and then it, I heard it was, it was real tender. It's it's it literally just melts, dude. Like just melts while you're eating it. Like you cut it with your fork and it melts. Like you you have a knife, but it's it's pointless. I cut that with <laughs> I cut that with my asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asparagus was harder than that. Yeah, dude. It was probably and then you can um like remove the bone marrow out of the bone. Mm -hmm. You like eat it with the beef. <sighs> Yeah, like butter, man. bro. Like butter. That's why I say, bro. Like, but yeah, that's why I like everything from scratch. Yeah. And, and like that simple stuff right there. I mean, I say it's simple, but that's like a simple meal, right? Right. When you really think about it, they just got like the best of ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. And you, you, you all cook a lot too, though. Oh, yeah, dude. The wife cooks a lot. I cook a lot. My mom cooks a lot. Yeah, dude. I come from like a cooking family too. And so does she. I mean, Shit, dude, even her brother cooks well. I mean, when I went to Honduras, bro, I was, it was amazing. But my oh. parents cooked, I mean, shit, dude, you go to my mom's, they throw down too, bro. So it's like, my you go to my dad's, they throw down. I mean, everybody throws yeah. down, bro. Like, they, I haven't never missed a meal. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't have to fuck them. You go to my grandma's house, besides your mom, got the gr best grilled cheeses. So my mom does too, yeah, bro. So it's talk like, about <laughs> grilled cheese. oh, yeah, bro. That's, I mean, you know. But when it when it's the best, it's the best. But you definitely got like those different groups of people that have really good meals. And um I think like uh I don't know, man, it's just rare, it's special. It is. Because mm -hmm. like when you're trying to recreate something like that, it's never like, you know, I'm sure like the shit you cook at your home that's like, oh, this is dad's like top top. Right. That was like something you made for yourself, but like probably trying to recreate it through like what your mom was cooking and your grandma was cooking. Right. And that's just what we got. Exactly. Because I don't cook like the same shit my mom cooked. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm on some next level shit. But like, if if you were to like eat at my house for like a week, a month, a year, you'd be like, oh, this motherfucker's always cooking like this cream of rice, or he, you know, he makes his rice and chicken this kind of way. But this shit's fire. Like, right. I'll show you how you to eat it like this way. You know, mm -hmm. so. I guess you kind of like created your own dishes too, like the crawfish rice. Yeah, and I always say like my you might have been copying off like your mom's jambalaya, yeah, uh, like, like everything. And, yeah. but I just feel like my mom get lazy. Uh, you know they get. We've well, already been cooking a long time. Yeah, man. and it's like they're like the same shit they they used to grab. They don't grab no more. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Even yeah. like well, I think like, money's yeah, involved and yes, shit like that. My yeah. mom, because my mom is like, we're not gonna buy that. It's just too expensive. I was like, yeah. bro, what? Yeah. It's fucking four. It's four artichokes. Like, give me them goddamn yeah. artichokes. Yeah, man. Like, you know, and it's just and it's like, like, and it changed the whole meal. So, like, man, it's like, it, it, if you I better make this shit with love, <laughs> I said, fuck it. I'm buying a crawfish. I know they a hundred dollars a sack. I don't That's care. what I tell my mom. Like, if she's trying to go back, I'd be like, get this, get this. I pay for it. Like, you not yeah. about to fuck up this yeah, meal with no, it. with no greasy ass, you know, yeah. sausage or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. the whole meal. Yeah. Up. Like you know, but the, you like know, get the get the Rouse's brand. Like no, you better get them Jimmy Deans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And it's Fuck like the they, I guess they, I don't know. It's, I call it lazy, but they be mad at me. I, I call like, this it motherfucker. It, I, always I don't even about think it's lazy, bro. I think it's. I think it's a matter of just like uh, excuse me. I think it's and just and a prices matter. too. Like they, they well, that's what I'm saying, dude. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're you know, my mom's okay. like, oh well, you know, the pork butt didn't go on sale at the Win Dixie. You know, it should have. And I'm like, I get it. You know, my mom probably yeah, because we probably don't shop like that. Well, no, you know my I'm mom's saying? probably got more money in her bank account than me because I'm just grabbing <laughs> shit. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm I'm at Target. I'm gonna get it. You yes. know, instead of like going, yeah, yeah not else. looking at it and debating yeah. like, no, we like just like it. It. yeah. But yeah, that's I real. guess that's how we don't shop. You know what I'm saying? I think. Yeah, I feel like I've been looking at prices lately just to see what shit costs. But I mean, like, you know, I don't really go to places that I can't afford to buy the shit. Yeah. Like, I ain't shopping at Saks, but, like, when I go to, you know. But even, like, when uh when the kids was going back to school, like, the the chips, they went up, like, like $2. They were, like, $6 and something. And then, huh. you know, we, have, we, we haven't paid attention. And then the, this was the first time we paid attention because, you know, we usually, like, just putting it on there. Right, and it was like, damn, that bit eight dollars. It was like, damn, like damn. so. I know, but it's like you don't look at the, you know. I guess, like I said, we don't shop like that, so we don't right. look at it how right. my mom looking at it like what? 
I'm buying that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, we, dude. Right. We go get these, uh, we go get these check code drinks and y'all go put them Cokes down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like, know if you remember check. them checks. Oh, uh, son. <laughs> I've had plenty of check in my day. Oh, uh, the Win Dixie. Oh, bro. Like a strawberry. Yeah. Ooh. That grape was fire too, though. Look at you. Yeah. That's his black tongue talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, that shit's grape. fire too. That grape, yeah, that grape did make your tongue purple, like dark black mm-hmm. purple for sure. Those are some good times, That's bro. That's the nigga in you, yeah, huh? dog. Your mama's <laughs> Kool Aid, though, bro. Your mom's Kool Aid was so good. Mm-hmm. That shit was so fucking sweet, that bro. That shit was crack. <sighs> See, but the, but the, but the, like the, uh, the scheme is get you a lot of ice. Yeah. So it melts for a sure. little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't a sugar. Yeah, because I fucked up and filled it up with some ice and like a whole cup of. Hey, you know? don't, don't drink that bitch without yeah. no ice. Oh, no, like bro. Syrup. Uh-uh. Nah. <laughs> Literally. It's like syrup. Almost like jelly. I was like. <laughs> Nigga, that bitch drink. <laughs> hey, we was outside on a sunny ass day, jumping on the fucking. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> drinking a. Uh, uh, hey, you know what's up? Be too sweet when you like. You like throw up a little, but it'd be like all oh, slobber. Yeah, like yeah, after dude. you drink something so sweet. Well, get dude, one of them. I remember just jumping on that trampoline, sweating my ass off, and you brought me out that Kool Aid, bro. And it was it was cold, you know. It had some ice in it, I think. And like, <laughs> but dude, I took the biggest sip of that shit, and I was like, it was just like it almost had like just sugar in it, like yeah. still whole pieces of sugar. It was so good though. It's like I love because I, I could eat sugar like that. But mm-hmm. when you like sweating and thirsty, yeah, that man. shit fucks you over yeah, real that quick. That's boy. why I can see why they don't put much sweetener in Gatorades. Because like, can you imagine if that shit was like super super sweet, but you trying to chug it? Yeah. Because like most people don't like you know now I chug water, but like I wish I could chug some fucking Kool Aid all the time instead of Mm-mm. fucking water. But you know it's like it don't work that way. Uh-uh, you know? Fuck no. Yeah. But some of that should be sweeter than like if you could get you could get the yeah, same big Gatorade time, big time, and shit, big time, big time. and then that bitch would be sweeter one day. You'd be like, "Ooh, this bitch good," and then the next time that bitch be sour, tart. I always felt like ten Ks had like a really good like that purple ten K, that clear whatever clear grape. Remember that ten K? Mm-hmm. I always felt like that had a good sweet taste. But besides that, everything else was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. That's just like when people see like colors on their phone. Like, Levin was showing me and her brother something the other day. And, like, I was like, no, nah, I see green or, or, like, blue and green. And he was like, no, I see, like, pink and gold. And I'm like, it was like them weird, like, what is it, babe? Like, them weird, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like them, them Instagram things or some shit. And I'm like. And then, like, fuck with your eyes? I guess. Like, because, like, me and you could be looking at it. But, like, I guess depending on, like, I don't know if it's eye color or genetics or what. But people see different shit. But mm-hmm. it's the same, like, shirt or whatever, but we see different colors. Oh. So I don't know what that means. There, there's got to be, like, a scientific word for that. Oh, that's some like crazy some shit. Like, some prism shit. Like, prism, like, eye prism, like, you know. Because, like, our eyes have, like, all those different, like, things in there that, like, create, you know, right. light and whatever else. So maybe, like, oh, well, yeah, like, what you, I see blue and black. What you see? I see gold and white. Oh, shut up, dog. That's so scary. I see blue and black, babe. The blue lines and then a black. It's a blue and black dress. I see gold and white. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. Hey, bro. That dress to me looks blue and blue. Blue and black. It's got like blue stripes with like blue. Well, they well, it's like black patterns and like blue stripes. Black and blue. Yes. You sure, Eric? Hundred percent. Are you looking blue, at your glasses? Blue like this shirt, bro. It's like a faded blue. Bro, actually. this can't be real. I told you, we bro. We need a second opinion. No, dude. I'm <laughs> fucking telling you, dog. Blue and black. Leave me. What's that called? But like, why do I see the blue and black? Oh no! So it's like a weird. I'm telling you, bro. That was that, that came out like that's you ain't why never you heard ain't that. Racist, motherfucker. Nah, you bro. See the I, wrong know. I know. I <laughs> know. So blue and black. So I wonder what that is, though. No, because some people do see blue, black, and some people see white and um, gold. You never, you never saw that. But what's it mean, babe? You don't remember? It's like eyes. Some it's like something with my eyes. And like your I eyes. can't. Yeah, but but what that's do you crazy. see? What do you see, babe? Oh, she sees white and gold. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, that's crazy. So wait, damn, y'all don't see blue either or no. black. Damn. No. 
So the stri- like the stripes on it are blue. Yes, and then and then like the like the pat like the pattern is black. Yanni, Yanni, Laurel, Laurel. You never heard of that thing mm-hmm. where it was like it, it sounded like people thought it was saying Yanni, and then some people thought it was saying Laurel. So it's like Yanni, Yanni, Laurel, Laurel. You don't remember that? No, I don't remember oh, that dude. shit. I, I wish like, I had to find it on my phone. Bro. That shit's funny. Shit. It's like I'm, Laurel. I'm still Laurel. stuck on you seeing fucking blue and black, bro. That. Look, it's like a little, like the chest pieces are black, and it kind of it almost looks like a, it almost looks like fucking. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Because that's the Why is it gold? I'm, I'm so what, what part too. is gold on that? Huh? What part is gold, or is the whole thing gold? No, gold. So what part is gold? Like what pieces? Like up here is gold, and then it got gold stripes going down. So where's the white at? The white is in between some of the gold. Okay, so like to me, I just see two colors, blue and black. That's it. You yeah. see the dress though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the dress has stripes. Well, you must be seeing the shadows. Hmm. Yeah. The fuck. Man, y'all can be able to get that voodoo uh, off either, you. Well, either you seen it wrong or we seen it wrong. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. We need a second opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I told Leaving that we got to, um, because there's like, the, like that came out first. That came out a while back. Then they have another one, too. Uh, yeah, that's like. anybody else you showed that to seen Blue and Blue? Oh, yeah, dude, everybody. Uh, that's old, bro. That's like an old thing. That's crazy. That's like two years ago, dog. Uh, I'm late. You don't remember that shit? I'm late. Just like the Laurel and the Yanni thing, I can't believe you never heard that. Oh, bro, I got to put you on game, bro. That's like, I guess, like, if TikTok was around, you would have heard it. But, like, TikTok wasn't around when this shit ha- happened. It was still, like, I guess, like, Instagram. Damn. Yeah, bro. And That's it was like, just funny as fuck. I was like, because people would be like, hey, bro, what, what color you, uh, you see? And I'm like, blue and black. They're like, bro, I see white and gold. And I'm like. And that's crazy because it'd probably be impossible for me. Like, it's dude, impossible it would, it would for be me like, yeah, to it, see you see a different fucking color. Like yeah, bro. That, you really see it? Oh, that shit's yeah. crazy. But that was like people all over the world. Like they would be on Instagram. Like, you know, we get like millions of views. And they'd be like, bro, this is fucking blue and black. And you'd see like thousands of comments. People be like, bro, white and gold. And yeah. so I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like eye, you know, coloration, <laughs> the way your eyes like perceive it. Like me, you know, maybe yeah. you and Liebna have like different retinas. And, like, my retinas are different, but there's a lot of people like us. Right. Which is fucking weird. But not everybody sees those colors. That's what's weird. So, it's like, there's got to be a scientific explanation. Mm -hmm. It usually is. What color is this? That's white and gold. (laughs) Like a motherfucker. (laughs) That bitch is solid white. You got some light gold and some, like, you got some. Fuck me up. (laughs) (laughs) You got some light gold and some fucking, uh, some fucking, um, what's it called? I mean, they're both gold, but, uh, one's like see through and one's like real shiny. How you can see this white gold shit? Dude, that shit looks, bro, I'm telling you, dude. Telling you. And that's what I thought was so crazy. I was like, I thought I was going to see what everybody else saw. And then I saw that. So I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Because nobody really knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What color is that, Ray? It looks like a, a pinkish color. It's pink and white. That's blue? Nah, blue dog. Pink and white. Blue? Blue and gray. Blue? He I says blue it. and gray. Like she it. said blue and gray. Uh, I see like a pink. You don't see pink and white? There's like pink. It's like the white. The laces are white. <laughs> the laces are white. The, the lace. fucking band thing is white. Blue. So the shoe is blue. No, no, no. This is all gray. This is blue. This is blue. And this is blue. <laughs> what? Yeah, dog. No, that's a pink shoe with white shoelaces and a white stripe and a white sole. Yes. Right? Yes. That's crazy yeah. as fuck, yo. I told yeah. you, bro. Now you think I ain't crazy, huh? She, so she see blue as the, where the white part's at. I guess. Blue and gray. And gray. And the pink is the gray for her. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's how that dress is, bro. Like some of its stripes with blue, that and some of it's black. Yeah. That shit is trippy. Like I, I was like, man, I told him that's a pretty dress. That's like a cool blue and black but, dress. But how is I can see the gold and fucking white and I she don't know, can, dog. But I don't know. <laughs> but I see fucking white and pink. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. <laughs> and you see the fucking white and pink. Yeah. Oh man. I told you, bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Hey, bro, we we we're gonna end it with that tonight, bro. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that guy Ray Ray. I don't even. We're gonna find out what that's called next time. And, that uh, shit we're crazy. gonna get his ass with that, bro. Uh, thanks for coming up and chopping and on with us. Um, Already, this is fun. Uh, we're gonna do more of these people. We're gonna have like a lot of different things in between. Cheers to everybody. Um, we're definitely gonna have a lot more. Uh, we have some fun times in here. It's the first time it's been a while with just like two people talking. Yeah, it's so. Just- We've been chopping uh, it up. Yeah, bro. We we're trying to bring something new and different like every week. So hopefully uh people are liking it. Yeah, it's just us hanging out. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. that's all it is. Yeah, bro. I mean yeah, I mean it's, even Leaving the got involved. Yeah, dude. I mean <laughs> Leaving always usually comes in at the end. Maya comes in, so it's always good, bro. As right. usual, I appreciate you, bro. Love, Love you. Bro. And uh always. that's real with some cheese. I like that on shirt it. on you. Yeah. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Clever breed. Check it out, check it out. Um uh, they fit great. They're wonderful. Um, he just dropped a new, what is it? The Block. The Block. And uh, check it out. That just makes you want to say it. The Block is The out. Block is <laughs> Should have put like little That shit just you want to say But uh, The Block, that's number one in the phases. You can fly the fire. Shit. <laughs> Oh crap! That, I did it. the same thing. I did like a little. Burp, I think yeah, you got burp. me. You got me started. <laughs> so you can find it on Club but, of Breed, right? Yeah, but that's the foundation of it all. Correct. We all got to start somewhere, so that's the beginning of the brand. So the block, check that out, Breed dot com. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's uh, it's very clever from the packaging to the shirts, uh, everything. I mean, all the apparel. It's um, it's clever, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very All inspiring, right. guys. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Again. We out. Have a good night. It's late. Love y'all. Thank you.